Good morning. How do I sound? Uh, better? I'm talking about the microphone. Yes, thanks to Kalina. She donated a brand new chat microphone to my... Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I told you. My other chat headset, my cat Dougal attacked the wire, put his claw through the wire, and I didn't realize it. I uploaded a video to YouTube. People were complaining about the sound, and I'm like, Hold on, what are you talking about? And I went back, and yeah, the audio was cutting out. And I found a hole in the wire. But what am I going to get mad at him? Can't get mad at a cat. He don't even, you know, that's what cats do. <laughs> anyway, hopefully he doesn't attack these wires. So yeah, we're listening to, um, I just want to let you know, yeah. I'm, I'm sitting here listening to Game of Thrones lore because I, I basically had it with the mainstream. Um, luckily, the video I had to delete off YouTube. But you know what? It's better it is deleted. I, I said some shit in that video that could have got me in a lot of trouble. I do not take lightly at all to people who harm and abuse animals, women, and children. Specifically animals. As a... Um, cat dad myself who has rescued cats okay and when this shit started going around i was like you know what they want to start flinging around misinformation all right let, let's let's fling some fucking misinformation first of all let me tell you why bill and hillary clinton took their honeymoon in haiti let me tell you why they went there in 2012 let me tell you why they had the fiasco with after the hurricane hit Oh, there was a whole bunch of missing citizens. Yeah, missing. Quote, quote, unquote, missing. And then uh, I went on this tangent, basically proving to people and showing how they are importing voodoo. Why voodoo? It's the easiest pagan religion to convert Christians from. They've already done it in South America, Africa, and throughout the Caribbean. You know what voodoo is? It's Catholicism perversed with pagan beliefs. So when you have Christians that you want to make adept into the occult, paganism, voodoo is a very good way to do it. Right off the bat, uh, voodoo involves the worship of saints. That's idolatry. And we know, yeah, it's not what you, yeah, we know it's, Mexican drug cartels openly worship San Muerta, the god of death. And that's the other thing I warned about. The type of violence that you're about to see imported into this country. I'm warning people now. I have a very strong stomach for watching um, sick things. Although um, I'm not proud of it. But I've seen the videos on the internet and they do exist. And that is Mexican drug cartels basically um, what they do to people on video. And it, it is absolutely disturbing. And it, it goes beyond people who are fucking demonically possessed. It's one of the reasons I, I said, you know, if this is what needs to be involved to fucking sell cocaine and heroin around the world, go, uh, you know, go fuck yourselves. And I know who started all this. It is the, um, the elites themselves, because you obviously know I'm not, I'm, I'm in defense of South Americans here. They do make up the largest population of Catholics on planet Earth. And amazingly, Russia makes up the largest population of white Christians. Yeah, read between the lines on that one. And they've been unable to perverse the religious beliefs of Slavics for a long time. In fact, um, Russia is very orthodox, if you know about them. Um, same thing with South America. This is why they introduced voodoo. And you haven't seen anything yet. And most importantly, uh, I explained in that video why they like Haitian children. The darker the berry, the more adrenalated the blood. That's all I'm saying. Um, it, it, so maybe it was a good idea that I did have to delete that video off YouTube. Maybe God was trying to tell me something. Look, Kenny, you've gone this long without a community guideline strike on YouTube. Don't do it now. 
I have a temper, and I have no patience for anyone who fucking abuses animals. Period. Secondly, where's PETA in all this? I'll tell you where fucking PETA is. Bill Maher sits on the board of directors of PETA. You know, red shoe wearing Bill Maher and his TDS. That's another thing that's coming very apparent. These people are coming fucking unhinged as November 5th comes closer and closer. Reality is setting in for them. Hey, you's made this fucking circus deal with your clowns. Uh, that's all I'm saying. Did you think spreading four years of gossip and propaganda was going to get you anywhere? I need to, in fact, do I need to even tell quote-unquote grown-ass adults this? Do you know there's a video of Joy Reid back checking Trump on the debate where she's outright fucking lying? On, on They should lose their license for that. Trump said the uh, leader of the Taliban was a guy named Abdul. He is. And we've got clips of the CIA admitting it years ago. And they were trying to fact check him. This is getting out of fucking hand. And I'm talking about the hatred of Donald Trump. It's not fucking human. And I'm not going to tolerate it from any other human anymore. Alright, it's time to grow up. Put the big boy fucking pants on. If you can't tell me within 10 seconds of what Trump did that's so fucking vile and disgusting, and you're just a victim of MK Ultra mind control, stay away from me. It ain't my fault. They, uh, how come I'm fucking immune to mind control? Oh wait, does marijuana play a part in that? It could. <laughs> no. Alright, yeah, actually, I'm going to tell you something that's a fact. Go to anyone that you know that is a heavy marijuana addict and see how much propaganda they actually fall for. That's a fact. Because I, uh, I know a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, a lot of my friends are heavy um, users, obviously, right? Because um, I'm not really into the drinking scene anymore. I'm not hanging out at bars. Um, so that's kind of like my only vice. Um, if you could donate to the channel, I do need some right now. That would be awesome. Uh, oh, what did I want to say? And uh, George Martin, he's got to run his, George, don't do it. You ain't that stupid. I'm reading Game of Thrones. This is not written by some low IQ idiot. I'm actually highly impressed. With your occult and knowledge of ancient history, I just don't like your choice of making Daenerys Targaryen 13 years old and writing sex scenes around her because it starts making me question some things. Like, now you're saying you can't finish the Game of Thrones because of rise of fascism? When you idolize Tolkien, who literally fucking wrote Lord of the Rings during World War II, or the rise of real fascism, like I said, you're not that stupid, George. I guess you celebrities out there, and um, I always suspected he was a Freemason. There's something in George's office he does not want you to see because uh, there's a documentary floating around on YouTube. It's called A Night with Shay. Shay played Tyrion's whore. We, we actually know who Shay really is in, in the stories. A lot of people in Game of Thrones are not who you think. Shay, she's one of the Sand Snakes. If, in case if you read Game of Thrones or you saw the TV show. D&D, &D, the HBO writers, fucked up a lot of things from Game of Thrones. That's why I go back to read the books. And like I said, they cut out a lot of the occult. And um, basically what makes a story a fantasy story. Magic. Um, they, they have no fucking idea what they're doing. And House of the Dragon is also going down the toilet. Because they got uh, this feminist writer. You cannot mix... Dark fantasy, and this is what it is, it's dark fantasy, with activism. It doesn't fucking work. It just doesn't work. It kills the immersion. And quite honestly, we're getting sick of a lot of you uh, people out there stealing pre-existing IPs and not writing your own shit. Well, I'm writing my own fantasy. It's going to be based in Maldek. There will be no modern human characters in the story. And as I build this world, I'll share it with you. I'm not doing this for money. I'm doing it because in a strange way, how can I tell the story of what I think actually happened in Atlantis and Maldek? 
I can give a lecture and theorize of it. I do that all the time. Or, for example, in Game of Thrones, George R. R. Martin is telling the story of Ragnarok. And I know why he's probably not releasing the books. There's a theory going around, and I'm starting to believe it more and more. Westeros is not what you think it is. George R. R. Martin is a science fiction writer. So where am I going at with this? It's very possible that Westeros is a post-apocalyptic world. Basically, what would the world be like if we went into nuclear holocaust and then how would civilization pick up the pieces and move forward? This supposedly has happened many times in human history. What do you think Agenda 2030 is and the New World Order? It's more this nothing new under the sun. The only thing that changes is the way they destroy the world, either by water, fire, air, comet strike. <laughs> Next, well, nuclear holocaust is technically fire. And these people will burn the fucking country down the vault over the ashes. And now they're getting to the point where they're becoming so uh, paranoid and obnoxious with their lies. They're just flat out fucking lying to people's faces on mainstream media now. About, you know what? We know that most of the country supports the orange man, yet you're going to sit there and fucking insult everyone? Good. Now we got people like Stormy Daniels coming out and saying, Trump's going to arrest us all for treason. And we have Elon Musk of all people. Guess who? Elon is resurrecting the whole 17th letter of the alphabet phenomenon. Yes, you heard that. He's been making posts on X that are the exact same posts that a certain letter of the alphabet made years ago. He's even time stamping them and coding them. And people are losing their shit over it. Now we got people in panic mode. If you don't break the fucking law, you have nothing to worry about. Unless you're despised by this fucking regime, then it doesn't matter. But that's why we need to get them the fuck out of power. Because you've seen what did the, the, the Trump. Yeah, who do you think they're coming at next? Why do you think I've been a little depressed over the past few months? I am one of the fucking first people they are going to take out. Because what I what I don't have in physical money, like Elon Musk and Trump, uh, I have in wisdom and the way I understand the world and my knowledge of the occult and reptilians and secret societies. And because I don't join the dark side and use my forces for evil, they despise people like me. But, oh well. I, I started doing this because I never got real answers. And I got real sick of the fucking Main Street. Oh, oh, we don't know. We don't know how they built the pyramid. We don't know what this is from. We don't know what, We don't know how they did this. Uh, yeah, bullshit. Something wasn't adding up. There were, I, I was noticing so much serpent symbolism in the occult. Dragon symbolism. I mean, come on. Then you find, yeah, yeah all roads lead to reptilians. Including Game of Thrones. I'm going to tell you another secret about Game of Thrones. As per George R. R. Martin himself. He was originally going to make the Valerians in Game of Thrones reptilian hominoids. You heard that. And then what's fucked up is in House of the Dragon, the Valerians are black now. When originally they were going to be uh, reptilian hominoids. So how do you feel about that, black people? See why you shouldn't fucking race swap in fantasy? Um... Yeah, so that, but then he abandoned that idea and decided to make them the purple hair, white skin, purple eyed, um, whatever they are. And make them dragon riders. And actually breeding dragons instead of being dragon people themselves. Yes, they were literally going to be a race of reptilian dragon people. And in the books, many Targaryens still live birth reptilian babies. That's why I'm reading the books. Even George R. R. Martin goes full reptilian. Just saying. <laughs> I need to write the Opus Day of reptilian stories. Yeah, the Alpha Draconian invasion of Atlantis and Maldek. I'm going to do it. <laughs> also got another idea. 
that may be able to help me out financially in the short run. I, uh, I told one of my subs about the idea last night. I think she actually seemed pretty impressed by it. Because I'm going to keep it a secret for now. That's something I'm just, I'll do. And when I do it, I'll let you know. But for the, for the time being, I'm just going to keep it a secret. It's not something very difficult. It's something I can do. It's something I probably done. I should have probably done this 10, 15 years ago. Um, but, oh well. And, uh, it involves, uh, art. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. And I'm a highly creative person. That's, and, and, yeah, I still am going to be writing some short stories, some science fiction kind of, um, uh, that, that's another thing I really want to do. I want to write a spooky short story for Halloween. Who knows, maybe I will write a short story about somebody summoning a fucking reptilian and the consequences of doing that. Yeah, like you're summoning a reptilian because you think you're going to get some money, some sex or power, and then the reptilian says, yeah, you know what? I need your human form, so I'm just going to, like, kill you. <laughs> this is what happened in Atlantis. Blood magic brought these creatures over. Yeah, so, um, maybe I can write a short story about that. I'm telling you right now, and the, the reason I'm saying this, with all the failed DEI shit and video games, movies, TV, film, there is a huge void for creativity in the fucking, um, the entertainment world. Hollywood is dying. And, um... That's mainly because of their DEI shit and their TDS. Yeah. Celebrity. You know what killed the modern celebrities? Was, was the internet. They used to get away with it when there was more of a mystique about movie stars. And you didn't really hear from them or know them unless you saw them in the fucking movie. Now they're on Twitter every day. Ranting on about their TDS. It's kind of hard to go get people to watch your fucking movie when you literally call them Nazis. People like me who actually had, uh, my great-grandfather was killed at Pearl Harbor. Yeah, and you use that word loosely, like, it's fucking disgusting. Secondly, you don't even know who Hitler worked for. He worked for the Rothschilds, you idiots, to set up the state of Israel. He isn't even what you think. Yeah, there is a storm brewing. In Game of Thrones, they have the long night. Well, yeah, but... Except, it ain't going to be White Walkers attacking us. It's going to be some crazy little... No, actually, they're planning some nefarious shit in this country. Specifically with a lot of these... Um, in, call them what they are, fucking foreign invaders. I don't. You can sugarcoat it all you want. And there's a reason why they're importing voodoo. Maybe I'll have to give a new lecture about voodoo. I, I, I'm pretty sure I've done one before. I could look on the my yeah, I did a lecture about voodoo before. I'm pretty sure I did. So anyway, if you could support the channel, I uh, greatly appreciate it. Um, yeah, so we got a new chat headset. Brand new one. Should sound better. And uh, I just... To keep my sanity... I Look, I, I have a book that I bought when I was a car salesman. It's called How to Sell Anything to Anyone. I'm looking at it right now. And one of the things that this guy teaches you in his book... He was one of the most successful car salesmen that ever lived. His name is Joe Girard, if you ever heard of him. I went back to this book because I remember there was something that he says in one of these chapters that he used to do every single day before he went to work at the car dealership. He didn't watch mainstream media. And he stayed away from negative shit. He didn't want to be around anything negative. So this way, when he when he arrived in the morning, he wasn't um he was there ready to sell cars. He wasn't getting upset over politics. And this he wrote this book in the fucking 80s. 
in the eighties, you know, you have people thinking like that, and that, that was one of the things that he wrote in this book. He doesn't. Uh, the internet wasn't around then, but yeah, he didn't watch mainstream media because all the, he said ninety percent of the shit that they report on is fucking negative, and that was back in the eighties. It's kind of uh, look how much negativity comes out of their fucking mouths every day. That is not good. It's not even human. And now they're getting desperate. Because, like I said, reality is really setting into them. Yeah, go ahead and try to stack the deck this election. No one's going to fucking believe it. They already, you know, you already try to talk shit. And that's the other thing. When we catch them doing things, they still want to sit there and call you fucking names to your, you know, fuck this. These Democrats ain't built like that. There goes some street slang for you, Democrats. Yeah, how many of you use, talking about gun control, have armed security around you? Because you motherfuckers ain't knocking anybody out. Yeah, I just said that. You ain't built like that. Yeah, that's a street term for you. I'll teach you about the hood and diversity, okay? Come to Philly. <laughs> Joy Reid and Anderson Cooper, yeah, they ain't doing shit. They're probably petrified to be out in public by themselves. Yeah. Anyway, let's not go on that rant. I'll be accused of spreading terrorism, right? Whatever. You go fuck yourselves. I mean, we only got our country to lose, right? Um, and now, because you can't do it. I mean, Jesus Christ. God forbid you actually did something for three and a half years for the people. They might vote for you. Instead of importing. Yeah. All right. Um, that's pathetic. It really is. Anyway. Uh, thanks again to Kalina for the um, donation. My secret project is something that shouldn't take me really long to do. Uh, so I'll let you know about that when I do it. And uh, could be a good way to subsidize my income temporarily. Anyway, any uh, questions or comments, leave them below. God bless and take care.